The Long Road by Wolflin. If you can get past this round, I'll really be impressed. But Stephen's concern wasn't on the elite's thin boast, and he stared hard at where Credilly stood proudly. Are you okay to keep going? He asked, mindful of Claydol's downfall from earlier. This time, though, his partner should have been close to full strength from her strong regenerative attacks. Credilly shook her head, sending a spray of water in all directions, and trilled in the affirmative. But from the way Iona simply smirked, even when Credilly's tendrils wrapped around Ampharos and pinned it to the ground, Stephen feared he again made the wrong decision. Ampharos gave a shrill cry, and electricity surged forth, tracing a path along Credilly's grasp until his partner shuddered under the paralyzing grip of Ampharos's charge. Credilly, back off for now! Stephen knew Credilly had hurt him, but both he and his Pokémon barely had time to register the wicked glint of Ampharos's red jewel before the battlefield exploded in a brilliant bolt of lightning. The resulting thunderclap nearly sent him stumbling backwards, completely drowning out the sound of his partner's scream of pain. As the dust cleared, the only sound in the arena was the patter of rain falling on Credilly's crumpled form. She wasn't moving, save for a shallow, shuddering breath that rippled through her body. Whatever shock Stephen felt was fleeting, swiftly replaced with a quiet rage at the ferocity of the Elite's attack. He knew the League Challenge would be no joke. The Elite were powerful trainers. But to see his own Pokémon take such a vicious attack left him shaking. Had a Pokémon ever died during a match at the League? The sensation of Armaldo's Pokéball trembling at his hip snapped him from his daze. And with Credilly now tucked safely back next to her teammates, Steven skipped over the most active ball on his belt in favor of the most familiar. They wouldn't be intimidated by Iona's show of power. Metagross! His partner's name ripped from his throat. A fiery stare locked on to the elite standing across from him. Show them what we can do! Four legs thudded into the earth only to be met immediately by a second lightning strike. But this time, the thunderclap was not victorious, and Metagross's roar cut loud and clear through the din. Two red eyes shone through the dust, alight with psychic energy, as the falling rain hissed and popped across the overheated metal of Metagross's hide. Iona watched unblinking as her Pokémon's head jerked back from where it lay from the arena floor, helplessly pawing at its neck with frantic shrieks. Because if she did blink, she would have missed exactly why Ampharos was now crushed against the far wall of the arena, cracks lacing outward from the impact. Metagross's claw opened, letting Ampharos peel from the wall and slump to the floor. Eyes flashing, Steven's Pokémon turned in time with its trainer to face the Elite with an unspoken challenge. Send out another! Finally, Iona's smile wavered, but it didn't vanish even as the patter of rain melted away. Very well, she said, raising a Pokéball in each upturned palm. Your choice! Metagross's bristling energy faltered a bit at the Elite's odd proposition. And although Stephen's gaze held steady, the slight incline of his head told Iona she had puzzled the duo. These are my last two Pokémon. I have no preference which one goes first, since you'll see them both eventually. So, left or right? The steel Pokémon grated an uncertain noise, so Stephen made the executive decision. The one on your left, he said, with a subdued point. Hefting the chosen ball, Iona smiled brighter. A good choice! With a squeak, her diminutive electric rodent appeared on the battlefield. Red and yellow, it sported long, rounded ears and a small, plus-shaped tail. The plusle looked comically outmatched as it stared up at Metagross. But Stephen had seen the native Hoenn electric type before, and he knew Iona was back to her speedy tactics. Then we just have to be faster he muttered to Metagross, and it nodded in agreement. Bullet Punch! 
In a rush of air, Metagross jolted into action, bringing a fist to bear down on the bustle. But instead of dodging out of the way like Steven expected, the tiny electric type took the blow full on, tumbling backward from the force of Metagross's strike. Sparing a quick glance toward Iona, Steven saw her looking on, unconcerned, even as Plusle struggled to its feet, covered in cuts and scratches. After Ampharos went down, was she considering conceding the match? Finish this, Metagross! Say Encore! All at once, Plusle perked up and fixed Metagross with a cheery smile, jumping and clapping in an enthusiastic cheer. Staring transfixed at its opponent, the psychic aura in Metagross's eyes dimmed, and it found itself raising a leg to execute another bullet punch. But as Steven watched his partner change its mind, Plusle's innocent smile turned malicious. Bestow! From seemingly nowhere, Plusle produced an oversized iron ball, complete with chain. Just as Metagross's fist came down, Plusle tossed the iron ball up, and spun out of the way of the attack. With a loud clank, the item's manacle fastened itself around Metagross's leg before falling back to the ground with a heavy thud. Now free of its burden, Plusle hopped lightly atop the iron ball and made a rude face at Metagross's predicament. Metagross grumbled an unhappy noise and took a swipe at the offending Pokémon with its free foreleg only to have Plusle dance out of the way with another impolite gesture. With a tug, Metagross tried to free its trapped limb, but the iron ball proved to be startlingly heavy. Thankfully, Metagross had four capable limbs, not just two. Pivot and use your rear legs! With a roar, Metagross complied, and in a wild cartwheel, it reared up and over its trapped leg, to bring both hind legs down in a pair of vicious punches. So shocked by the maneuver, Plusle tripped over its own feet and just managed to roll out of the way of the first blow, only to land in the path of the second. But before Metagross's claws came down, Iona's voice rang out. Boot switch! In a flash of energy, Plusle vanished just as Metagross's fist met Earth. The dispersing electricity surged up its leg, and Metagross roared in pain. As the pain subsided, a new sensation arose, and one red eye slid open to find its opponent now hanging off its leg, a grin on its face. But something had changed. Instead of red and yellow, it now sported blue and yellow fur. The Minon cried out its name and charged up its own electric field. Now, Electro Ball! A bright sphere of electricity crackled around Minon as it powered up, and Metagross moved to try and avoid the incoming attack, shaking its leg to dislodge the tiny Pokémon. The electric type's grip on Metagross weakened, and it was tossed backwards into the air. But despite its strongest tug, Metagross could only get the Iron Ball to budge a few feet before Minon recovered and slammed the Electro Ball full force into its head, driving Metagross to the ground. Sparks danced over his partner's hide as it clambered to its feet, and Steven frowned. If Metagross couldn't free its leg, there was no way it would be able to catch up to either Plusle or Minon. A switch wouldn't do much good either, since the rest of his team still would be no match for the Elite's team speed. Skarmory, maybe? But its weakness to the elite strength gave Steven pause. How could they turn their disadvantage around? Metagross! His starter seized its slow, hobbling retreat and turned its gaze toward its trainer. Can you use Psychic yet? Metagross noticed its trainer's hard stare at the Iron Ball and rumbled its acknowledgement. It would try. Crackling electricity alerted the pair to Minan's next attack and Steven put his hastily made plan into action. He threw his hand forward with a shout. Fling the Iron Ball at Minon with Psychic, and then follow it with Bullet Punch! A roar split his starter's jaw wide as it complied, a blue outline forming around the anchor that kept it trapped. With a heave, Metagross wrenched its leg as hard as it could, sending the Iron Ball hurtling forward where Minon stood charging its attack. It screeched as the rest of its body came flying after, 
bolstered by the momentum. Iona's eyes went wide. Forget the Electro Ball! Use Bolt Switch! Minon squeaked and slammed its eyes shut as Metagross loomed near, but it finished the new attack and vanished in a burst of electricity, just like Plusle had done. This time, though, Steven stared hard as its teammate's form began to take shape off the side of Metagross's attack. Change course, Metagross! In a surge of psychic energy, the Iron Ball swung to the right, now headed straight for where Plusle materialized. It barely had time to register its fate before Metagross slammed full force into it, burying the smaller Pokémon beneath its entire weight. A tiny squeak was heard from the rubble, and Iona bowed her head as she recalled her fainted Pokémon. Nodding as she looked up, Iona crossed her arms. Not bad. Not bad at all. Minon materialized on the battlefield in its partner's place, a nervous expression in its eyes, paws ringing together in worry. Don't fret, little one. Iona's soothing tone seemed to calm the electric type, and she smiled. Just keep doing your best, that's all there is to it. Iona's words seemed to bolster the tiny Pokémon, but as soon as it turned to face Metagross, it burst into tears. Taken aback, Metagross faltered, unsure of how to proceed with such an emotional foe. But as soon as Metagross's leg lowered, the fake tears stopped, and Minon grinned as it slammed an Electro Ball directly into Metagross's face. Before its opponent could fully recover, Minon darted away, taking full advantage of its speed. With a frustrated growl, Metagross finally shook off the point-blank attack and scanned the arena for any sign of the electric rodent. Find it, and slow it down with Scary Face! Steven's shout grounded his partner, and Metagross hunkered low, eyes scanning the battlefield, until it caught sight of a flash of yellow. Jaw wide, it fixed a fearsome stare on the speedy Pokémon, and Mina made its first mistake, making eye contact with Metagross's gaze. The scary face rooted it in place, and Metagross seized its chance. Snagging the Electro-type with its psychic powers, it lifted Minon from the ground, where its legs pumped in a panicked effort to escape. Finish this with Meteor Mash! Steven shouted, and Metagross obeyed. Still rooted to the spot via its iron shackle, Metagross couldn't launch itself at its opponent to deliver the attack. But Minon could come to it. With a tug of psychic energy, Minon flew at breakneck pace toward where Metagross stood. Helpless, it barely had time to brace itself before it slammed headlong into Metagross's outstretched fist. Its pain squeal echoed through the chamber before it tumbled to the ground and laid still. With a clank, the Iron Ball's manacle opened and clattered to the floor beside the fallen Pokémon. The battle was over. As Minon faded into the light of its recall beam, and the scoreboard grayed out the last of Iona's icons, the realization finally struck. They had won. Steven's sigh of relief was nearly loud enough to echo around the arena. Going into the battle, he had believed they could triumph, and now that they had, it bolstered his confidence tenfold. It was just the first step, but it was still a step they had to take, and they did.